Hello. I am Heizo, a genuine Edo Ko. This time I would like to introduce the Fukugawa Edo Museum. The Fukugawa Edo Museum in Tokyo is a museum that realistically recreates the lifestyle of ordinary people in the Edo period. The museum features a full-scale reproduction of the streets of Fukugawa in 1840, at the end of the Edo period, making it easy to learn about how ordinary people lived in that era. The row houses, boathouses and fire watchtowers stand side by side. This is a hands-on museum where you can actually go up to the shops and tenements and touch the tools of daily life. Would you like to travel back in time to the Edo period? The Fukugawa Edo Museum is well known for its meticulously recreated and entertaining exhibits that take place in Fukugawa Sagacho town, which actually existed in 1840 during the Edo period. Inside the museum, a full-scale diorama gives visitors a glimpse of Fukugawa Sagacho town in 1840, at the end of the Edo period. The exhibits are fascinating in that each family structure and occupation are also detailed, and daily necessities are arranged to suit each family's lifestyle. Visitors will enjoy a realistic view of the people who lived in Fukugawa Sagacho town. Visitors can actually hold the daily necessities in their hands and admire them. Greengrocer, Yao Xin. Saizo, owner 30 years old, Wo Mi, wife 35 years old, son 10 years old. Saizo is from Sunna village, which is famous for producing vegetables. The store was opened 10 years ago. The landlord is the rice shop owner next door. As well as selling seasonal vegetables he also sells konjac and eggs. During the day when there are few customers, he would place the vegetables in a basket which he will then walk around town selling. Yaoshin features fresh vegetables from the Edo suburbs, such as Kamado daikon, radish and sunamura eggplant. The variety on display changes depending on the season. You will understand, so this is what grocery stores were like in the Edo period. Boathouse Tavern. A business that owns small boats and hires captains and transports people and goods. Meals and alcohol are served in the tatami room. There are two boathouse taverns. The one on the left is Masu Dea, and the one on the right is Sagamiya. In the exhibition room, the two extremes are set up, the solid Masu Dea, and the flamboyant Sagamiya. A Chokibune boat carries several passengers and has one boatman. At that time, they were used as a means of transportation to Edo. Fire Lookout Tower Fires are a regular occurrence in towns during the Edo period. There was a fire lookout tower in about one in every ten towns. They are about ten meters tall. When a fire is discovered, the guard rings a bell to alert everyone. Rainwater tank. Rainwater is collected in a large tank for use when there is a fire. Water is drawn from the tank using buckets that are stored on top. A small amount of water may be used for other purposes too. Stall. There were many samurai and tradesmen traveling alone through towns during the Edo period. Restaurants were beginning to develop. In Arizushi. In Arizushi is sushi that is cooked in fried tofu and stuffed with vinegared rice. It can be eaten with wasabi and soy sauce. Long in Arizushi is cut into segments and sold. Tempura. Fish and shellfish from around Edo such as eel, shrimp, clams, etc., are seasoned and then fried. Tenement, Lumberyard Sawyer. Daikichi 40 years old, or Taka 35 years old. Daikichi has worked the lumber yard since he was 15 years old. His two sons work there too. Otaka is from Fukugawa. They are a religious and honest couple. 
Would sawyers often have to climb to high, dangerous places? Well, local residents would gather at the well to do laundry and cooking. They would spend a long time chatting and having fun. Toilet. The door only covers the lower half. The top half is left open to prevent crime. The excrement was collected and used as fertilizer. Edo, old Tokyo was a very eco-friendly city. The tenement houses offer a glimpse into the lives of ordinary people who lived in a simple way. This is a tenement where people who sold clams lived. It offers a glimpse into a humble way of life. This is the tenement of a master teacher who teaches reading, writing, manual training, sewing and the shamisen. It is impressive for being clean and tidy. Kazusaya, a rice miller. Kazusaya is the town's rice shop. The setting is a tenement landlord. The shop polishes brown rice to order and sells it. Rice tastes best immediately after it has been milled. もしよろしかったらご自分で、まあ、靴を脱いでいただけなら the foot operated tool for milling brown rice is actually operated. For the first time in my life, I tried milling rice. The museum regularly holds reenactments of annual events of the common people of Edo, and when I visited this time, it was the autumn moon viewing season. So silver grass and moon viewing dumplings were on display as traditional Japanese moon viewing offerings. The exhibition hall repeats day and night in short cycles. At night, a beautiful full moon was projected. Thank you very much for watching this YouTube. I look forward to seeing you again in my next video.